Hi, I'm Fiona. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make these beautiful polka dot heart shaped raviolis just in time for Valentine's. So before we roll out our pasta sheet, we have to make a filling. I'm going to show you a really delicious, quick to prepare filling. So this is my shiitake mushroom that I sauteed with some garlic and Italian herb. Very quick saute. And I cooled it down, of course. Parmigiano, I like to use the block. Two garlic cloves. A cup of ricotta cheese, which I strained uh, about 15 minutes to get the excess water out. You don't want your filling to be too watery, otherwise it'll run through the pasta and one egg yolk, salt, pepper to taste. Now we're going to roll our pasta sheet. I'm going to flatten it out a little bit with a rolling pin before running it through the pasta machine. So I'm going to start at the, at the thickest setting to run the dough. So every time I run, I'll fold it and we'll fold it and run it back again. And if you feel it's a little bit tacky, just sprinkle a little flour, not too much, just a little bit and run it back in again. So we do this about eight to 10 times. I want to try to get them kind of the same shape. So you eye it kind of, and you cut it up into two rectangles. Here, say I'm going to have yellow polka dots. My red is here, so I'm using a little cutter here for these polka dots. Now I've got my polka dots in. What I have to do is bring this and stick it on top of this. And in order to do this, I'm using just a brush with a little bit of water, not too much. There you go. Just a tap. See? Make sure you cover the edges. Just for it to get a little tacky as you touch. You see? And that's all I need. And what I do, I flip it over. And if it's a little small, just feel free to stretch it so it covers your bottom layer. There you go. Now it's sealed. I'll put this little flower, sprinkle it very sparingly. There you go. And now I'll pick it up. There it is, beautiful. Now I have sprinkled a little bit more flour here. Usually I like to do this. In case there was flour in the hair, it'll come out when I do this. Beautiful, I'm happy with this. Now I'm gonna cut up the excess part that I don't need. I'm gonna do it one more row. And rolling it will ensure that everything is stuck together before you run it in the pasta machine. There we go. Now, remember we're on the thinnest setting. We need to go back to, I will go back to two more thicker setting because our pasta is definitely thicker. So flip it over and go over again. Do you see how our circles are getting long? So in order to avoid that, I'll sprinkle a little flour. I'm gonna make it a little bit wider this way. Not much, just a tad to get my shape back. There you go. If it starts getting tacky, sprinkle a little flour on again. Just like that. Now I'm ready to cut this. I sprinkle some flour. Just be generous at this point. Make sure you spread it out. 
nice and even. And here too, very little, not much. Now I want to do my heart shape. So I have to think, I think I can do two here. Just eye it out. I would say about this much. There we go. And here. Okay. And I'm gonna go across. All right. Now separate them a little bit. Now this is a cool trick. What I do, I'll put my heart in there. Give it a very slight, gentle press. As you see, I have my heart shape. Just to know how much filling and where to put my filling in. I find that it helps me to kind of do them evenly. This filling is made with ricotta and the mushroom, roasted mushroom. So I put a dot in the center. So this is really important how you make your ravioli. First of all, make sure the bottom is nicely floured because we don't want our ravioli to stick to the board. Grab a top. So, so here it's very important to tuck in as close as you can to your filling. So I'm doing it with my back of my thumb. Do you see? So I'm pressing against my filling as I'm going around to avoid any air pockets. And also I'm ensuring that there is a seal and my ravioli will not come out when I'm cooking it. I'm gonna do another one. Yeah, these look beautiful. Now I'm gonna bring my heart shape ravioli and cut them. This is gonna be so. So you kind of put it in the center and you give it a good press. And here I have the heart shape ravioli, but I'm not done yet because here I have a single layer of pasta and here I have double layer. So they will cook differently. In order to avoid that, I'm going to press it really hard with my thumb to bring it to a single layer, not too difficult, yes? So you go around and you press it into a single layer pasta sheet and now it's ready. And I like to put it on a wire rack to dry because it won't get a soggy bottom. Now let's see what they look like when they're cooked. I hope I inspired you to make these beautiful raviolis for someone you love. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you soon.